Sunny also sneaks into Pakistan and once he reaches Pakistan, he comes to know that Utkarsh has actually been captured by the Pakistani army and it is money. Hi, I'm Rajesh and welcome to another edition of Vlogging with Rajesh G. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing great and I hope it continues that way. So finally, I got the opportunity to watch the movie which actually kept the box office ringing for quite some time. Yes, I'm talking to you about Gada 2. I couldn't get the opportunity to watch it in theatre. So the moment this movie was released in OTT platform Z5, I decided to watch it. And let me tell you, it was worth the watch. So the movie begins with a precap of what happened in Gada 1 and the story moves on immediately to Gada 2. And I think that was one of the reasons why Gadar 1 was relaunched in all the movie theatres before the release of Gadar 2. So the Gadar 2 begins with Sunny Diol having a flourishing lorry business in India where he is happily settled with his wife Amisha Patel and son Putkar Sharma who is all a grown up man. And even today Sunny Diol have connections with the Indian army because he is the official supplier of some commodities to the Indian army there. What Sunny Diol did in Ghadar 1 in Pakistan, it was a big insult to the nation and the current army general played by Manish Vadva, he wants to avenge it. And the first step towards it was he hanged Amrish Puri because he felt that Amrish Puri had actually helped his son-in-law, that is Sunny Diol, in creating that entire havoc in Pakistan. And immediately after the death of Amrish Puri, his wife also dies in the shock. And Amisha Patel couldn't travel to Pakistan because after she was brought back to India by Sunny Diol in Gada 1, she couldn't travel back to Pakistan because there were 101 restrictions on her. As a result of which her son Utkarsh has huge vengeance on Manish. Manish hatches a conspiracy to bring Sunny Diol back to Pakistan so that he can punish him in front of the people of Pakistan. And a mishap happens and Sunny Diol vanishes all of a sudden. And there are rumours being spread that he has been captured by the Pakistani army. This particular news shatters Amisha Patel and she decides to step into picture and she reaches out to everybody within her reach both in India as well as in Pakistan to know about the whereabouts of Sunny but she can't succeed in it because nobody has any clue where Sunny has actually vanished or disappeared. Since Amisha has failed miserably and Utkash can't see his mother fail, he decides to take things under his regime now and he decides to go to Pakistan and bring his father back. And Utkash is successful in his venture because he is able to sneak into Pakistan safely but he gets caught by the Pakistani army there. And in the meanwhile, Sunny Diol is back home. And it is then that he narrates all the incidents that has happened with him and why he went incommunicado with the family or with anybody in the Indian arena. And it is then that this news is broken to him that, you know, Utkash has gone to Pakistan to bring him back. And then Sunny decides to go to Pakistan one more time to bring his son back from the land of Pakistan. Sunny Diol sneaks into Pakistan to rescue Utkash and once he reaches Pakistan, he comes to know that Utkash has actually been captured by the Pakistani army and Manish is the one who is actually heading the entire operations. And Sunny comes to know that, you know, this time the tussle is not going to be very easy. Because Manish has been waiting for this opportunity for a very long time and as predicted, Manish and Sunny come face to face with each other and both of them are trying their level best to put each other down. Now, the question arises is, will Sunny and Utkash reach back to India safely? If they are reaching back to India safely, what will be the fate of Manish and what havoc is Sunny going to create in Pakistan this time? The answer to all these questions is in the movie Gada 2 which is currently streaming on the OTT platform Z5. And I think the uniqueness or the reason why it instantly connected with the audience was the star cast from Gada 1 to Gada 2 was the same, especially for the main characters that is Sunny, Amisha and Utkarsh. And that was the reason people were able to connect with them instantly because 
they wanted to share their love to both Tara Singh as well as Sakina. So I hope uh, this video was informative for you. If that's the case, like the video, share the video, post your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until my next video, bye-bye, take care and spread the power of positivity around you.